to. Looky, looky, uh, what the cat dragged in, the great Bruno Mars is in studio. Yeah. Bruno! What's up, handsome? I'm good, boss. How you doing? The new album, Doo-Wops and Hooligans, is coming this Tuesday. Just the way you are is number one. What? A, where were you when you found out the tune was number one? Oh, man, I, I was in my hotel room, and um, I got an email from my label saying, tomorrow you're going to be number one on the Hot 100. Did you tell the woman next to you? <laughs> Come on, Bruno. I know you're living big. That's, what, that's the problem. I was by myself. I was probably watching your. I was watching your show, actually. That's what, I was. <laughs> that's what you should be doing. <laughs> Bruno Mars is with us right now. Just the way you are. Number one song. You know what I love about this song? You got guys singing about women being hoes and this and that. This is the most beautiful tribute to a female. I listened to it. Played it for my wife driving south. We we're going to Laguna Beach, and yeah. she went. That is so nice. You know what I mean? Simple. Straight to the point. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful just the way you are. We gotta say that more often as men. You're beautiful just the way. If perfect's what you're after, baby, then just stay the same, right? Woo! I wrote that, Billy. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, that's it. And when you wrote it, did you go like this? Ooh, that's gonna hit. <laughs> exactly what I did. It's gonna strike a nerve. That's gonna cut to the core. <laughs> uh, Bruno Mars is in studio, and um, all right. Let's talk about uh, Hawaii. You've been you're, there? You're a man. I have had been to Hawaii. Where are you from originally? New York, uh, baby. Yeah, my dad's originally from Brooklyn. Brooklyn and Hawaii, that's yeah. a nice combo. Yeah, he moved out there and, and gave birth to a little Brunito Mars. <laughs> <laughs> How was it like growing up in, in Hawaii? It's the best, man. It's just paradise, you know? It's like the ocean. It's corny to say, but music is literally like in the air when you go down there. And I think that's what inspired me to do music my whole life. You sing a little Don Ho, a little Tiny Bubbles? Tiny Bubbles. I used to work right <laughs> upstairs uh, from Don Ho. Did you? Yeah. You got to bust that out in concert. Just, just, do a, just a little tribute to the, to the folks back home. To the home. man. Right? Yeah, I used to open up for a magic show called The Magic of Polynesia, and I used to sing covers, and Don, Don Ho would work downstairs. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that cool? He's a legend. And you know what? You're, you're, be, you're becoming as big a legend yeah, as the great not? Don Ho. Different vibe. But a little different. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the deal with Poi? Jesus, you know what? <laughs> Come on, man. Everybody wants to know. What is the You know, it's something point? that I've never... And what is it? It's the taro leaves smashed up, and it makes this Hawaiian pudding <laughs> called poi. Are you a poi guy? Do you like You it? know, I've never been a poi guy. Hawaiian food is delicious, but there's one thing that I stayed away from. It's purple. <laughs> it's not... It's not good. Uh, no, <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's one peek at that, and you're like, not a chance. I'm not a big fan of poi. <laughs> Bruno Mars, do you surf? <laughs> oh, man. Kind no boy, of. no surfing? Kind of. I'm a, uh, I've been a musician for a long time, so I, I might build sand castles on the sand, but never really get in the water and do the whole surf thing. But yeah, I can hang on a boogie board or something like that, catch a wave. All right, if you think I'm done with the Hawaii questions, you're, you're wrong. Keep them coming. <laughs> uh, why do Hawaiian people love spam? First of all, why don't you love spam? It's the real question. <laughs> spam in is... college, I ate a lot of it. I'll oh, tell you come that. on! You see, people knock on spam. Listen, the thing about spam is you just gotta jump in. You gotta dive in. Don't, don't you dare think about what's in there. <laughs> just go in there with an open mind and an open heart, and you'll end up loving it. You know, you will uh, when it's cooked. I, I, in the pan, it's cooked. You see, if you see it before it's oh, cooked, oh yeah, it's a wrap. It's over. <laughs> uh, favorite Hawaiian island? Oh God, Oahu. That's where I'm born. Oh, wow, baby. It's got you don't like to pop over to Maui? You know what? I've been to Maui, but the, the, the thing I like about the island I live is that there's a city life. There's a city life, and then you can drive down for an hour and just get the beach life. So you got the best of both worlds in Oahu. For me. Hawaiian sensation, the great Bruno Mars in studio. <laughs> the Hawaiian sensation. <laughs> we got to call it the Hawaiian ho Let me be tropic. The, no, can I be the Hawaiian lion? The Hawaiian uh -huh. Lion. I love it. Let's go, Bush. <laughs> Bruno Mars, the Hawaiian Lion is in the house. <laughs> oh, man, that's a great name. Tell me about Grenade. Grenade is, people are loving this. I mean, all over Twitter, I'm saying, Bruno Mars is coming in. What do you, people want a grenade, grenade, grenade. I always want the next thing. Huh? That's, the se that's the second single, man. I think, um, you know, I've done a lot of songs talking about, like, nothing on you, uh, just the way you are. That side of love and being in love. This is, you know, the other side. And Grenade is about me being in love with a woman that you know she just doesn't love you the same and you'll do anything for her and you just can't understand why why she won't love you back Billy is this a real woman Bruno is, it, is, there, a, is there a woman in the past <laughs> I didn't want to put it out there but Holly Bear has scorned me <laughs> <laughs> come on man you and me uh, but do you write this one from personal experience is yeah. this a friends or oh absolutely everything I write is, is, is coming from my heart and soul can you get her back now I don't want her back. That's the truth. I love that. You know what That's I mean? Mike Posner right there, <laughs> cooler than me. He's saying, you, you know, hey, baby, you had your chance. You're out. Um, how, how good is life right now? How has it changed? 
Man, I'm sitting next to Billy freaking Bush right now. You That's are, how man. life's changed. You're coast to coast, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're worldwide like Kentucky Fried. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nice, Billy. I'm, I'm keeping that one. Um, you know, man, it, it's awesome. I've always wanted to be an artist, you know. And you, you think in your mind, it's like, all right, I'm going to make an album. Then I'm going to do shows. I'm going to sleep all day, wake up, do another show, wake up in another city. I'm finding out that it's not like that. Yeah. I'm finding out, you know, you got to put in some hard work and, you, you know, for people to know who you are. There's cameras everywhere you go. There's one looking at me right now. It's creeping me out. Oh, yeah. Always. Uh, it's, my, it's my life. We've always had it's cameras. It's your life. Now. And that's, you know, it's, it's all getting used to, but I'm living the dream right now. The American dream. Talk to me, Bruno, about the rollout. I, I, I think this is a very successful rollout, how we got to know you. Because I remember m a few months ago, uh, how many, I don't know, my producer, Michael, and I look at each other, and we both look and who's Bruno Mars? I mean, it's like the hottest records, the two hottest records we have right now are Bruno Mars records. The Hawaiian Lion. The Hawaiian <laughs> Lion. Who is the Hawaiian Lion? And, I mean, you just... Right? You don't have one of those row things every time we say Hawaiian Lion? I can add them later. Come on, let's hook that up. <laughs> Featuring Bruno Mars. Featuring songs featuring Bruno Mars, and then all of a sudden you drop the album. It's a great way to give people a taste of you, right? Yeah, I mean that's how to. I, fortunately, you know, B.O.B. I got I got to work with some great artists, B.O.B. Travis McCoy, you know, and these guys didn't want to replace me for a, a bigger name artist that might have gotten a little more radio love or you know what I mean, credibility. They everyone said this felt good. Let's go with these two songs. With let's keep let's keep the kid on it. Yeah. And, but people right get the idea, they're like, this guy must be, you know, he's really talented. I mean, who is this guy? You, to, to come out with, are you, I don't know if it's luck or, or I mean, at the same time, it's obviously great work, but for two songs at once to go, you know, one after the other that big, I mean, it was like the greatest introducing act for you. Right, right. It's hard for me to explain. Some people haven't, some people don't, Billy. And you have it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the look of the Hawaiian lion. Did you see that? Did you see that Hawaiian lion look he just gave me? I shot him. I shot him with it. I'm a New York Yorkie. There's a little Yorkie sitting there in front of the Hawaiian lion. Um, awesome stuff. Oh, man. Let's talk about your uh, back in the day cameo. Oh, don't you do it. Little Elvis. Oh, yeah. Honeymoon in Vegas. That was you, you adorable little... That was cute. I was a thug. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> I was a thug in that Elvis. You were a Hawaiian chihuahua at that point. I was a chihuahua. Yeah, man, I used to impersonate Elvis as a kid. My father had a 1950s rock and roll Las Vegas-style show in Hawaii. And, um, you know, I was like two years old, and it was just kind of one of those things. Like, put me in, Coach. I want to sing. I want to dance. And he threw me up on stage, and the Elvis song was playing. I started shaking my legs, and... Taurus just got a kick out of that. It didn't look or sound nothing like Elvis, but the fact that you're two feet tall in a jumpsuit, I think people get a kick out of it. It's adorable. <laughs> the whole family's musical, right? It's yeah, my dad's a, a, a Latin percussionist. Um, my mother's an incredible singer. My, all my sisters sing. My uncles sing. Somewhat of the Partridge family. Or the or the Jacksons. Or the Jacksons. And you're a little Michael out there. Right? The little guy, you know, he ultimately went the furthest. How proud... Are your parents of you? They're so happy. They know that, you know, there's no real plan B. It's kind of all, you know, I'm not a basketball player or anything. My jump shot sucks. So if, it, if this music stuff didn't work, I'd be in a world of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> what would you do? I'd be washing something, some, some, some car wash somewhere. 